Hello everyone, this is Tom with Edwards Yacht Sales. And today we're looking at a uh, Intercat 1500. Let's see if we can look over the side here and currently on the hard right now. Intercat 1500. Uh, she's at the boat yard right now in Placida. Um, these are very interesting little vessels economical not too expensive to buy and could just be a heck of a lot of fun she only has a draft of uh, two feet about two feet nine inches that's a 15 horsepower uh, Honda right there and it's very economical and it has very low hours we'll look at that in a moment there's the uh, solar panel there it feeds all your batteries and uh, the sail on this uh, provides most of your forward thrust. It does have a jib, but on these models, if I read it correctly, it's been quite a while back, that most of your thrust is derived from the mainsail. Anyway, let's take a quick walk around her and uh, get around this shroud here. I hope I'm not shaking you around too much. Uh, some storage compartments up here on the bow and a Danforth anchor and we're looking back yeah this thing could be loads of fun most all the vessels uh, that I've ever listed have been uh, diesel vessels and uh, you know actually I had my doubts when first looking at this, this type uh, however I have to ask myself if uh, I would enjoy this or not and uh, you know I think this thing would be a heck of a lot of fun and I wouldn't mind owning one at all so now it looks like we got a Raymarine A60 right here. Nothing fancy but adequate. And one of the biggest hatches you'll ever see on any boat. Look at the size of that thing. It's incredible. Let's go on down below. It's actually quite nice. There's a little refrigerator here uh, that the owner put in here. It's a 110 volt refrigerator. Now this isn't the main refrigerator. This one's when you're only in port and you're plugged in. You can keep drinks and stuff in there, and I believe that's what he's done. Let's see here. Yeah. And let's get an overall view of this. Oh, this does have canvas cover for the cockpit. Uh, a lot of times when they put them in storage like this, uh, they'll remove that canvas on here so the sun isn't eating away at it. The starboard head that goes down to the head and the starboard stateroom which is the mirror image of the port stateroom which is in the uh, port hull right back here and it is large enough uh, for two good sized people. Maybe uh, three kids, no problem. That's a pretty, I know you talk, sometimes it's hard to tell the size of something here, but take my word. You could get two pretty good sized folks in here and be comfortable at it. Uh, your battery bank is underneath there, your battery switches, and there's an inverter that this gentleman used for some type of medical device that. Uh, he had to hook up, had to have hook up, hooked up. Okay, let's turn this off. And let's go around and look at this galley. Now there used to be a built-in stove here that was built in the cabinet, and I believe I don't know for sure, but I believe that was removed to give more cabinetry space here. And uh, we do have a uh, Coleman camp stove here now. It's got two burners. 
and uh, one of these type bottles that you can buy at Walmart or any sporting goods store. Uh, stainless sink. It's got pressurized hot and cool water. Here's the main refrigerator right here, and it's quite commodious. I just learned that word, commodious. Uh, just kidding. But it, it's quite big. There's your freezer section right here. Big and deep. Put a lot of stuff in there. Now this will run off your batteries, so if you're underway, it's running. Um, solar panel is feeding the batteries. It's got a microwave. It's a VHF right there. It's got one of these cabinets here. And uh, here's your dishware. Flatware. Bowls, cups. Nice and clean. Uh, the boat is in the yard, and you catch all kinds of dust and stuff here, and it is a 1990 boat. Uh, but I'll list this one uh, pretty reasonably, I think, and uh, your offers are welcome. Uh, this is uh, a control box for your uh, solar charger. It's a charge controller. And here's your panel here. 12 volt, 110 volt, and uh, bilge pumps. Air conditioning. The air conditioning has been replaced. It originally was smaller, but now it's uh, 16,000 BTUs. So this divides the boat in, uh, down the center here, this large. Uh, gathering area, dinette, I do believe this could be made into another berth too. Not sure of it, but I believe it could be. Okay, now we, we had uh, this boat cleaned up recently. And uh, we had the uh, owners out of town. We had to store some, some things in here over in the starboard cabin. But you make this up, it looks just like the other cabin over there. They're identical. Mirror image of each other. So let's close this little door to the starboard cabin. Let's go in here. I'll get my finger stuck. Okay. Now this gentleman has all the spare parts in here. They're very neatly organized. I know most ladies would probably use that as a uh, linen closet. But in this case, uh, when he comes down, he comes down by himself and uh, this works for him. Now here's something truly different. This head is just, there's only one head aboard, this is it, and it's just huge. The stainless sink, I mean when I say huge, not like the head in your, or the bathroom in your home, but for a boat like this, this is a quiet head. What's really unreal about this, look at this shower. You could have a party in there. I mean, it's big. Nice molded in uh, bench seat in there. I'm just going to step in there. And, uh, and you can get two, three big people in here. Here's your uh, hot and cold water shower head. Yeah, with the shallow draft, uh, the speed in which these boats are capable of going, which is a pretty good speed, and it's not like a race boat or anything, but these catamarans clip along at a pretty good speed. Uh, this boat would be a heck of a lot of fun. I'm going to open this back up so we get good ventilation back there. It's, uh, it's hotter than Hades out here. But anyway, um, as I said before, my name is Tom, and I'm with Edward Jot Sales. We advertise on between 50 and 60 websites. You can see this boat. It's an Intercat 1500, an Endeavor Intercat 1500. It's a 1990 model. And we'll have this boat advertised on all the big websites and a whole slew other, even over in Europe and everything. I don't know what they all are, but you can look for it on Yacht World. 
You can look for it on our own website, edwardsyachtsales.com. Uh, BoatTrader.com, uh, Sailboat Listings, it'll be on all of those. If you want to see all the pictures, which I'll have well over 80 pictures up on it in this video, uh, you know, you can see them for sure on Yacht World or the EdwardsYachtSales.com website. If you like it, give me a call. We're just people around here. Uh, this is pretty straightforward business. You, you come look at it, you like it, then you, you can buy it. And if you don't, well, just go on with it. You know, if it looks like something that will fit your needs, I can see it as something that you could really have a heck of a lot of fun with. Uh, you know, as far as uh, yachts go, or boats go like this, at a very reasonable price. You know, you could do a lot of offshoring. You could go explore different islands with it. Uh, has everything you need. Has refrigeration. Uh, has a range. You know, carries. Uh, I believe we got 55 gallons of gasoline, and about the same amount of water. You can see that in all my regular specifications on those websites I was telling you about. Anyway, my name's Tom. My direct number is 256. 710-4419 You know, give me a call. Talk to me about this. And uh, we'll get you out here. You can look her over. And she may just be the something that you've been waiting for to come along. Well, thank you so much for coming. And everybody have a good day out there. Bye-bye.